Stronger than a whale, he can swim anywhere. He can breathe underwater and go flying through the air. Seven Seas returns to his domain in fabled Atlantis to save his throne from warlord Krang, who tried to seize it during his absence. My prince, at last you have returned. Quickly, Dorma, how stands my kingdom? Alas, it is your kingdom no longer, for Krang has already seized your throne. But all is not lost. The people still stand with their rightful prince. Let me help you, Namor. Together we can regain your crown. Unhand me, woman. Namor needs no help. Again you reject me and scorn my love. But take heed, my prince. If I cannot have you, no one shall. It is your crown that stands between us. Then let it be lost to you forever. Guards, he is here. Seize him. My palace guards, you dare strike out against your prince? Our prince no more. Careful. He is not to be harmed. <laughs> strong as ever. Only the hydro ray can stop him. Now bring him to Krang. Let him see that he has lost his throne forever. For only then may I hope to win his heart. Krang, your regal trappings ill become so monumental a traitor. Silence, Namor. You have deserted your people for the last time. It is you who are the traitor. Though you were born a prince of Atlantis, your heart belongs to the surface world. While your people cried for vengeance upon the humans, you pleaded the cause for peace. You mouth the words of a madman, Krang. Hold your tongue whilst speaks the king. <laughs> I shall lead an invasion of the surface world. Atlantis once again shall rule the earth. You'll pay dearly for this. Sue the dungeons with him. I'll hear no more. Queen of the first, bound and helpless. And yet I shall escape. I shall regain my throne. I must be true to my destiny. Lady Dorma. I offered you my heart, Namor. But you spurned my love. Is this watery dungeon more to your liking? Have you come to gloat, my lady? No. My heart would not permit me to stay away. It is still time to erase your treasonous deed. With your help, I can still escape and vanquish Krang. Never! The people now support him. You cannot battle all of Atlantis. But I can earn their loyalty once again. Have you forgotten the enchanted trident of King Neptune? That would be his name. And how he told the people of Atlantis that the jewel trident had long been the symbol of his imperial power. But the time had come for him to begin the sleep of ages. And when he left Atlantis for the last time, he took his trident with him to hide it in a secret place until the day a pretender seized the throne. Then his rightful heir should seek and find the trident. And all who beheld it would know the crown was his. Of course I remember. But he left deadly clues and the one who accepts the quest must face fantastic dangers every step of the way. What does danger matter? Only one thing can free me. By the love you profess, I command you to bring me the Vibra Key. What? You hold it even now? Of course, my prince. Turn around and I will free your hands. I shall remember, my lady, when I am again Prince of Atlantis. And now farewell. Until the trident or death be mine. Farewell, my prince. May Neptune watch over you. Not a living being knows where the trident is hidden. Only the starting point. Where the first clue is to be found, it is there I must begin. Others before him have sought the hidden trident. Now my loved one takes up the quest. And if death be his destiny, then... Till the end of my days, I shall know that I, in part, am to blame. Namor now approaches the Cave of Shadows, my lord. Good. Once he has entered the cave, you know what to do. What is this? Help.
Have I helped lead my prince into a trap? Do you take me for a fool, Dormar? I have had you watched every moment since Nemo's return. Somewhere ahead is the first clue. That shell with Neptune's mark. It is what I seek, but it is guarded by a giant killer squid. <laughs> Is my chance to seize the fateful shell and I have it. Now to wait. The cave mouth is sealed shut. Krang must have learned of my quest. This is his handwork, and the squid is almost upon me. There is no other way out. I'm trapped. Trapped to the killer whose strength would do all for hundreds of mariners. Will Prince Namor escape and continue his quest for Neptune's tribe? giant squid begins to complete its embrace of doom. The squid is upon me. I am trapped. He has me in his grasp. If I don't act now, even the power of the mighty submariner will be to no avail. Is there no hope? Is this to be the end? I cannot fail. I must be true to my royal heritage. The Prince of Atlantis must battle on till victory. This shell with Neptune's mark was to be a clue to where the enchanted triton is hidden. Now it has become my only weapon. The Prince of the Blood can never surrender. Was I not born Namor, the avenging son? And hurled by the most powerful arm beneath the sea, the glistening object becomes as destructive as a guided missile. As it severs the rampaging monster's deadly tentacles. While back in the Palace Royal, the ambitious warlord Krang has angrily witnessed Namor's triumph. He has defeated the squid, but still he is sealed within the cavern. I cannot simply assume that he shall not escape again. I must set a deadly trap. But my Lord Krang, it is written that no one may interfere with the royal quest. Silence, Lady Dorma. Think you I don't know your heart belongs to Namor? Twas you who sent him on yon quest, thinking he would thus regain his throne. And I permitted it. For I know your love can never be mine whilst Namor lives. But I promise you that before this quest is ended, the Submariner shall die. And the throne of Atlantis will forever be Krang's. Then you purposely let me send him to his doom. <laughs> of course. With Namor dead, you shall become my queen. Until that joyous moment, you may leave my royal presence. If death claims my prince, then my fate matters not. For my heart shall have turned to ashes within me. While Dorma weeps within the sealed cavern, the desperate prince stares at the faithful shell that has saved his life. As a awesome apparition begins to form above the vanquished squid. Well done, valiant one. The spirit image of Father Neptune has risen from the shell. If thou would continue thy quest for my sacred trident, then must thou now proceed to the forbidden deeps to face the next peril that awaits thee. The vision fades. Now all that remains is to find a way out of this sealed cavern. It would take an eternity to smash a path through those tons of rock. But there is another method which none but the true submariner possesses. as a living drill, the mighty Namor bores his way to freedom, unaware of a still greater danger lying in wait outside the cavern. And as the rightful monarch of the Seven Seas crashes through the crumbling wall of rock... There, just ahead of me, is what I expected to find. One of Krang's hydro-powered soil movers ordered to seal the cave entrance. Namor is free! Destroy him, or it shall mean our lives! Beneath our blast rays, 
手。Sniddling traitors, flee as cowardice lends wings to your stumbling feet. Rejoin your master, crying. As for me, I shall continue my quest for Neptune's trident. Nothing that lives shall keep me from my goal. And when at once the prize is won, oh, what a day of reckoning there shall be! And as Namor swims off for the forbidden deeps, little does he suspect how many other traps await him. For I shall not rest until the throne of Atlantis is mine. While Krang plots his evil schemes, Prince Namor approaches the forbidden deeps, prepared to meet any danger that may stand between him and the sacred trident of Neptune. No matter how long the quest, nor how deadly the peril, not but victory shall be mine. For I was born to rule. Nor dare I think of failure. For with my death, a cursed crying would rage war upon the surface world, and such a holocaust could well destroy all life upon the planet Earth. Therefore, I dare not fail. Wait, something moves in these shadows. I'm being observed. Hidden one, come forth. The Submariner commands. As Namor journeys toward the forbidden deeps, he becomes aware of something in the shadows watching him. Stand forth and face Prince Namor. Or know the fury of the Submariner's attack. Why, it is but an ancient one from the outer reaches of Atlantis. What brings you so far from home, good citizen? Long have I journeyed, my prince, to set eyes upon the rightful monarch of the Seven Seas, and kindly Neptune has answered my prayers. You are in the presence of Namor, Prince of the Blood. Why do you seek me? My lord, some in high places have betrayed thee, but the people of thee, they shall never lose faith in the mighty Submariner. Rise, ancient one. Your words have brought me comfort. Oh, to be praised by my prince, tis honor beyond measure. Though you be aged and humble, it is for the likes of you I fight, and for the likes of you I shall triumph. As surely as the ocean endures, he is eternal Atlantis. Meanwhile, back at the palace royal, a lonely figure waits. Her heart heavy with fear and remorse. Twas I betrayed my prince because he did not return my love. Yet now, even if he should regain his crown, his heart would still be cold to me. But I shall never give up. The noble submariner must be mine. While in another part of the castle, the evil Krang secretly monitors the progress of his former monarch. Namor should soon be reaching his second battle site. How confident he seems. How little he knows of the perils that await him. Soon, Namor, you shall meet your fate. And triumph shall be mine. But let us visit the streets of Atlantis, where we hear... That tyrant Krang takes everything from us. He swore he'll one day conquer the surface world. He taxes us without mercy to support his monstrous war machine. Hold your tongue, citizen, or suffer the consequences. Be silent, my friend. You risk both our lives. When our rightful monarch returns from his quest, tis you will suffer the consequences. The pile of tribute to Krang is not yet high enough. Let the payments continue till it reaches my tunic. Why does Namor not return? Only he can save us. It is whispered that the Submariner has perished on his hopeless quest. Nay, nay, that is not so. With my own eyes, I beheld our true prince. He was noble, fearless. Such a one is not easily killed. If Namor lives, he must return. Only he can free us from the tyranny of Krang. He shall return. It is for us he fights, and for us he shall triumph. At that moment, the regal submariner finally reaches his goal. A mountain of seaweed looms ahead of me. No, by Neptune, it is the shape of a living being. It is a gigantic seaweed monster. Puny one, take warning. Return from whence you came. None that live may pass through my domain. May I seek the enchanted trident from Neptune. And I cannot change my course until I find the second clue. Only by me can you possess that clue. Then defeat you I shall, for I have the power of the true submariner. Advance no further. You have been warned. 
I fear you not. The trident shall be mine. Then you shall die where you stand. I have guarded my domain since the dawn of time, defeating every intruder. But you have not yet faced the Prince of Atlantis. His incredible reach holds me at bay. Once a victim is seized in my grip of doom, he can never escape. I must have a weapon. Something with which to strike. What's this? An undersea stalagmite. I pray it'll serve my purpose. Back to the murky depth, thing of evil. You thought so flimsy an object could injure me? For that mistake you shall pay with your very life. No one escapes my ever-tightening, deadly embrace. No one. I grow weaker with each heartbeat. If I do not break free within seconds, I shall perish. Even my great strength cannot hope to equal his. I warn you, I am invincible. This is the one chance. By shifting my weight when he least expects it, I can use his own power against him. I'm free. But there is only one way to truly defeat him. Using all my power, I'll create a giant whirlpool to sweep him away. The soft mariner has won. But it cannot be. Of course he has won. Is he not Namor, Prince of the Blood? With or without the trident of Neptune, he shall ever be Lord of the Seven Seas. Stronger than a whale, he can swim anywhere. He can breathe underwater and go flying through the air. The Lord Namor of Atlantis is the 